Hey everyone, I want to take a couple minutes to go over today's game plan. So this video is for virtual students only or if you are quarantined and or if you are not here this week. So in class, we're going to be having a debatable discussion uh, each day on a different topic. So instead, since you will not be here, uh, you are going to complete the debate speech and you're going to basically write a speech that you would be giving. So, so say you were participating in a debate, this would be your leading arguments. So this would be you giving your arguments prior to the actual debate part of it. So let's go ahead and click on where it says debate speech, virtual students only. All right, so here are your instructions for the speech. Now, your speech itself should be around two to three minutes. It's okay if it goes over that. Uh, but I would shoot for around two to three minutes and you need to include the following. So I'm just going to break down what you need to include in your speech. You can just go ahead and type this in a Google Doc. So first thing you should do in your speech is state the stance you are taking. So if you're talking about online schools versus in-person schools, you would want to state what your specific stance is on that issue right off the bat. Then as you go through your speech, you're going to need to present at least two of the main arguments. So this is where you're going to look back at your step three document. You're going to find those main arguments that you listed. Choose your two strongest ones. And then for each argument, you're going to provide at least one example. Now, try to focus your research here on facts, statistics. Again, you are not recreating anything. You've already done this. So if you go back to your step three document, you should have your three main arguments along with research that proves each of the arguments. So pull a strong piece of research and then include that in your speech. Again, one for each of your arguments. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and reference that step four document where you presented a counter argument to one of the other side's main arguments. So all you really need to do is look back at that step four document, uh, present one of the main arguments of the other side, so the side you're not taking, and then you're going to provide a counter argument to that argument. So we're going to be working on this Monday and Tuesday this week. Um, and then on Thursday and Friday, you're going to be doing a flip grid where you read your speech. Much like the pet peeve speech, you're going to record your speech, post it, but I'm the only one who's going to be able to view that speech. Now, uh, make sure that you have this finished by Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Get that submitted so you can get points. I do want to go through what you're going to be graded on, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up that rubric right now. Um, and you will get points for both doing the speech and doing the flip grid. So make sure you get that speech done submitted and then on Thursday and Friday I'll have the link for your Flipgrid. All right so first things first when you click on the actual assignment you'll get the instructions. I was reading the instructions off of a Google Doc because it fit better on the screen but all of your instructions that I just went through are listed here. If you scroll down you can actually view the rubric so let's go ahead and take a minute and just go through what you'll be graded on. Uh, so the first thing you're going to be graded on is going to be your ability to present two main arguments for your stance and to provide at least one piece of evidence for each of the arguments. So in order to get full credit in this category, you need to provide at least two strong main arguments to support your stance and support both arguments with at least one piece of evidence, as I said, and then you need to make sure your arguments are clear and easy to follow. Uh, the next category you're going to be assessed on is your ability to present an argument from the other side and then present a strong and coherent argument to uh, that argument from the other side. So you're going to present a counter argument. So you want to back this counter argument by either research or strong logic. So you're going to get 10 points for that category as well. And then you'll get points for grammar and fluency. So this is just, did you, did you spell check? Did you make sure that you use capitalization and punctuation correctly? And then also, does your speech flow well? So you don't just go 
from one example to the next without utilizing transitions. So if that's the case, you will get five out of five in that category. So this debate speech is going to be due by Tuesday, as I mentioned, at 11.59 p.m. In your agenda, I've also listed the four other steps you need to make sure are completed. So for step four, um, I originally, I did not put a due date uh, by it, so it probably was not popping up in your to-do list. So there's a due date there, and I have today as the due date by 11.59 p.m. Try to make sure we're getting those turned in uh, at that time. So again, by this evening, make sure you get step four turned in. And then if you're missing any other the, any of the other steps, please make sure you're getting those done and completed. Uh, there are also a number of videos for each step. So on most of the actual documents, you will find videos. I'll make sure, you know what, when I'm done with this video, I'll also make sure uh, those are in your agenda as well. So it's easy to access in case you've fallen behind. I've intentionally made it so that uh, the two items that we're working on this week, your speech and then your Flipgrid, are pretty spaced out to give you time to finish the other steps if you have fallen behind. Last thing I'm going to mention is instead of doing a big group meeting, I am going to have those individual Zoom conferences. I think those will be more beneficial if you have questions to just have individual meetings. So if you have any questions on this project or you have any questions on any of the assignments that you may be missing in this class or are still working on in this class, please make sure you're signing up for a meeting and talking with me about it so we can get everybody on the right track. All right, that's all I got for us today. If you have any questions, please let me know. And then if you need some help or just want to run some ideas by me, please make sure you're hopping on those individual conferences. Have a great week.